come from. Hey guys, what's up? It's Madsen for UGO.com, and actually, I'm hanging out with one of my favorite, not only comedians, but actors. Thank you very much. I mean, I actually mean that, just not for TV or video, as I say. Yeah, okay. I, I promise you. I believe you. I promise. Okay. I believe you. Big Daddy? I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, it was just a small thing, but you made the most of it. Thank you. You know, I actually quite like you. Okay, maybe too much. <laughs> <laughs> your film is really good. Thank you. Uh, you know, this it's, is your first uh, directorial debut? Yeah, first time. So that's why I'm promoting it. Because <laughs> I directed it and I'm in it. But um, yeah, it was fun. I mean, my all the actors except one were really fun to work with. You know? <laughs> David Carradine was great. Um, go through the list. I, I see. David Carradine, Henry Gibson, M. Emmett Walsh. You say I love the older actors. They're the greatest. You know, they, they've been around for, for you know they got so many great stories. Scott Wilson, and they're great. David Carradine was fantastic. M. Emmett Walsh. Uh, except for Rob Schneider, he was tough. You know, he wouldn't get him out of his trailer in time. Like, well, come on, La Rob, we got to shoot. But, uh, He's notoriously been a dick in for yeah, many years. Yeah, exactly. Now. So, but he was tough. But uh, after a while, you know, it, you know, being a good director is what I, I heard. The cliche is hire the right actors. That's right. Hire the right people, and then um, then they know what they're doing. And but hire people who want to be there. Before we get there, you talked about being fat and portly. You were buffed in this film. On that film, about a week later, I oh, got out okay. of shape. <laughs> I got out of shape so quick. But no, I, I, we did five-hour workouts a day. It's amazing how good a shape you get when you're working out for five hours a day. One hour of yoga, so you don't break. One hour of weights, and then three hours of martial arts practice. Wow. No, it was ridiculous. I had a ninja living with me, Nino Pila from Australia, P-I-L-L-A. And uh, the guy who taught Bruce Lee, the guy who introduced Bruce Lee to the nunchucks. Yeah, so it was interesting to work with these guys. and, and uh, for me, I kind of got lost in it because those scream of sticks. I, I noticed I was good at them, so we did this whole fabulous routine. And I said, "Well, whatever you can't do, we'll get the stunt guys to do it." And I said, "No, I want to do all of it." So I, I mean, we would rehearse every single day, and we did it for months. And after a while, I just kind of learned it. And I, I felt, you know, I want the audience to see something and know that I'm not no one else. Jim Carrey, I love Jim Carrey, but I don't think Will Ferrell, any of these guys, Adam Sandler, you know, Ben Stiller. I don't know if any of them will put seven months. Of, of, of martial arts work in that movie. I did. You should talk smack on them right now. I Let's am. Go. What the fuck's up with that, guys? <laughs> you should do that shit. Come on! As some reviewers are absolutely virally hate the movie because I think they have some kind of weird thing to it, you know? But do you know. They... Women like the movie because it's about a man in sexual jeopardy. Oh, is that. Which they find hilarious, <laughs> by the way. I had no idea, but women really responded really well to the movie, more than any of my other movies. Really? Yeah. See, that's what I thought when I was watching it, and I actually meant watching it. <laughs> um, it's really good. I mean, well, but this you, is how I you. say, and it's, it's it's in the vein of all your other films. So why didn't this go to a theatrical release? You know what? I just got lost in the shuffle. There was a movie company that had it that went bankrupt. They literally, I mean, they, you know, Bob Yari's company. I don't mind saying it. They went bankrupt, and we it took a year to get the movie out and back from them, and then release it. And then it was like you know, either spend the money, and then I showed it to my friends at Sony. And they didn't want to release it because they didn't, they didn't want to spend $20 million on it. And that was at the time of, you know, just right before the whole financial meltdown. And people were fra afraid because they knew what was happening. And it's tough. You know, what happened in Hollywood, nobody wants to make a movie that just makes $40 million profit. They all want to make a $200 million. They always want that big home run. And it was, so it got lost in the shuffle. I, I'm grateful that, like, I've never been really overly accepted by the Academy. I've never been. A and by the critics because it released me. I'm free, I'm liberated. I don't have to worry about trying to please these people. I just do movies for people. People like me and my friends to make them laugh. So, in that sense, it's liberating. You're watching uh, UGO.com, and I'm Adam Sandler. Uh, Rob Schneider. Enjoy. <laughs>